the future market of electric pickup trucks is steadily shaping up. Besides a steady stream of exciting new models from startup ventures, industry's leaders are also joining the electrification race in this rather unlikely automotive segment. In this episode, we will be covering all of the exciting new models, including the highly anticipated GMC Hummer EV. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you won't ever miss electric car news. Let's get technical. The time when startups were the only driving forces in the electrification of the pickup segment is finally over. The GMC Hummer EV comes back from the ashes of the 2010 discontinuation as a solid super truck of tomorrow. He utilizes the proprietary GM Altium battery technology in a three motor all wheel drive system to achieve 350 miles of range, 1,000 horsepower, and 11,500 pound feet of torque. The newcomer was designed to handle the outdoors with its independent air ride suspension, four wheel steering with crab mode, and 35 inch tires. At the same time, it feels like a premium product on the inside with high grade leathers. 13.4 inch infotainment, 14 speaker audio system, digital instrument panel, and a gorgeous infinity roof with removable sky panels. Claimed to be the most powerful F-150 to date, the all-electric version of America's favorite pickup is expected to start sales in mid-2022. Its public launch, however, should come sooner as Ford has already revealed the prototype model in the one-off 1 million pounds towing experiment. The test mules of the newcomer look almost identical to the ICE F-150, which is a rather appealing feature to the conservative buyers. The preliminary performance data is scarce, but we already know that the Mighty Truck will be powered by a dual electric motor setup, will have immense torque, and will be off-road capable. The model is supposed to get a large frunk, and it will be built at the new facility at the historic Rouge Complex. We have been waiting for Rivian's first electric truck for almost two years now, since its reveal in November 2018, but it appears we will have to wait a little while longer. The company announced that the arrival of their pickup and SUV models will be postponed to summer 2021. As before, the first version of the R1T to be delivered to the customers is the top-of-the-line quad motor truck that comes equipped with the largest 180 kilowatt hour battery pack. This model gets over 400 miles of driving on a charge and boasts a power output of 750 horses, being able to tow 11,000 pounds. Later in the year, Rivian will start manufacturing less capable modifications of the R1T with 100 and 135 kilowatt hour packs and yet undisclosed range. Do not forget to make your input in the promotion of electric vehicles by giving us a like and watching this video to the very end. Thanks in advance, and let's proceed. Though it seems to have appeared out of nowhere, the upcoming endurance truck from the American startup Lordstown Motors might actually beat Tesla's Cybertruck and Rivian R1T to the market. The brand's Lordstown production facility, which formerly belonged to GM, is prepared to launch assembly from early 2021. The model has a starting price just above $50,000, and it promises true four-wheel drive capability thanks to its four electric motors placed in the wheel hubs. The system makes 600 horsepower, delivers over 250 miles of range, and claims 30-degree hill climb ability when the truck is fully loaded. We should mention that the Endurance will be good for 7,500 pounds of towing, and it has already collected $2,000 billion worth of pre-orders.
It's hard to imagine a scenario where someone will have to cover half a thousand miles on a pickup without making a single stop to get rest and recharge. But this is the number claimed by Tesla for their new cyberpunk truck. Most likely the bonkers figure is, is only a side effect to giving the new Musk toy enough juice to perform heavy duty tasks. The tri-motor all-wheel drive powertrain not only lets Cybertruck to do 2.9 seconds to 0 60 dashes, but also allows it to tow up to 14,000 pounds and carry up to 3,500 pounds of payload. Moreover, with armored stainless steel construction, 16 inches of clearance and air suspension, it is also an ideal Mad Max style off-roader. With its squared shapes and rugged exterior design, the B2 truck from Bollinger looks more like an old school machine from the 1980s than a modern EV. Regardless of this first impression, underneath its bodywork hides an advanced dual motor all wheel drive setup paired to a large 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. The system delivers 614 horses and 668 pound feet, ensures excellent acceleration to 60 and 4.5 seconds, and produces maximum speeds of 100 miles per hour. The truck's range, however, is rather modest by the current standards, being limited to 200 miles. The main advantage of the B2 are its 5,000 pound payload rating, extendable bed length, 3 feet water weighting capability and variable ground clearance. This is the first vehicle by the US-based Atlas that aims to demonstrate that being electric does not mean compromising on utility and off-road capability. The pickup is built on a company-developed skateboard platform with four-wheel drive and four independent motors. Its battery is also all new, created specifically for the automotive industry. It has modular design, excellent thermal efficiency, and a scalable size, starting from 125 kilowatt hour and allowing the XT truck to cover 300 to 500 miles on a charge. The company plans to offer the model in two cab designs, four door and crew, and two bed sizes, 6.5 or 8 feet, offering up to 5,000 pounds of payload capacity. The new CEO of Nikola Motor, Mark Russell, claims that the Badger pickup might be dropped from the upcoming lineup if the deal with General Motors doesn't go through. But despite the uncertain future of the Arizonian startup, we would still like to revisit this model, since conceptually it sounds like a great idea to combine fuel cells and battery electric technologies. The Nikola Badger promises to have 600 miles of range. 300 miles will be covered on the juice coming from a 160 kilowatt hour battery, while another 300 comes from converting 18 pounds of hydrogen to electricity. With such range parameters, this pickup has no need to converse charge, so by outputting 906 horsepower and 980 pound feet of torque, it will tow up to 8,000 pounds. What are your thoughts about the presented electric vehicle lineup? Which one is your top pick? Answer these questions in the comments below and support the electric revolution by liking this video. By subscribing to the channel, you will always get notified about new EV videos. So smash that red button and ring the bell without hesitation. See you later.